What's up, everybody? It's Kyle with NLFX out here live at Wedding MBA 2024 in Las Vegas. We're at booth 4117 with our awesome partners, Chauvet. Yeah. This is Chandler from Chauvet Lighting. Chandler, how are we doing today, man? We're doing good. We're just waiting on everybody to come in. Last minute vendors are coming in to set up. We came in yesterday, we're ready to roll. Heck yeah, let's do this. So we're gonna walk you through the whole booth, show you some really cool things we got here at Chauvet Lighting. So again, come on and check us out. Let's take a look. All right, Chandler, we're at our first lighting tree here. Walk, walk us through, what do we got going on here? All right, so this year, on our flex stand in the booth, we have a full array of ILS fixtures. And what is ILS again? ILS is instant light shows. Okay. It's the fastest, easiest way to get a light show up and running without having to program DMX, without having to set addresses, set modes, set DMX cables. It's quick and easy and it's affordable. Sure, so would you say it's more like a, a pre-programmed thing, kind of just a little more robust than what's built into most lights? Yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Awesome, sweet. So what do we got going, what are all the lights and fixtures we got going on here? So on the fixture stand here, everything we have is UV enabled or hex colored, except for the pin spot. So what that means is you get RGBA and you get a UV and you get a white. So instead of just quad color RGBA, Instead of just tri-color RGB, you get that white, you get that UV that weddings want, Absolutely. weddings need, floors need for fog, atmospherics, to yeah. get the vibe rolling. And, and as a wedding guy, the true white, photographers love the actual true white. So let's start at the top and work our way down. What do we got up top here? So up top here, we have the new four bar hex ILS. You get four hex colored pars, really punchy, very vibrant, DeFi USB on the back, DMX in and through if you still want to DMX it. Comes in a carry case, comes with a tripod and a little bag. You can tote it around super easy. So so the USB, that's needed for the ILS command, right? Yes, we need if that you to want control. to do wireless, DeFi, you can do the DeFi hub, you can do DeFi XLRs, or you can do our new DeFi USB 2s. They're much smaller, they're black, really robust, plastic instead of that metal aluminum that gets in the way. No more dip switches, a lot of extra features in it for the same price as the old ones. Awesome. So less interference, better signal. For sure. And anybody who's out here, we got those. We'll come to them again over here. We got them out here. Come take a look and see what we got. All right, so after that, you said we have the pin spot. So what's this one? This is a quad color zoom pin spot. All it does is zoom, no gobos, nothing fancy like that. You get a nice punchy zoom. It's coming down over here onto the freedoms, onto our codots, onto the ILS command. The zoom is on board. You get power in, you get DeFi USB, you get XLR three pin in and out for DMX. Yep. And that's it. Sweet. Super small and punchy. That's awesome. So anybody, especially uplighting tables, centerpieces, all that sort of thing, something yep. like this, really, really handy. All right, so what do we got after here? We got some shutters going on. So what's this What's this fixture? So the Slim Bank T18 that people loved for years, we made the quad colored version, and now we have the hex colored version. Nice. So RGB, A, and again, W with UV. Comes with the barn doors if you want to be able to shape it, have a little bit more of a professional studio look to your venue very vibrant. It's the only fixture we have that's brighter than the Wash FX Hex. Nice. And the Hex color to raise. Yeah, and as, as bright as Wash FX Hex, I'm a, I'm a big Hex guy. Yeah. And Wash FX Hexes, I use them all the time. And if this is brighter than those, that's, that's saying something. That's pretty crazy. All right, so then what do we got going on here? I see LED shadow. So underneath here, we have the UV sole version of the Slim Bank. Now, you can still do, you can get the barn door separately. They don't come with them. What this is, is it's just a floor mount UV wash for low fog, atmospherics. You can put it up high, shine it down on white flowers, white tabletops, yeah. a lot of white venue where you want that UV only. Really make it pop. Yeah, or if you have a lot of quad color and tri-color fixtures already, uh -huh. you just need to add some UV in without buying a whole new set of fixtures, adding in the Shadow 2. It's a great option. That's a great thing. I hadn't thought about just adding it into existing fixtures. That's a great idea. All right, what about this cool bar we got going on here? So this is the Color Band H9 ILS. Nine hex colored, again, white and UV. Full output, you get a power con in and through instead of an IEC. You get three and five pin DMX. Oh, so very and, professional on that one. Yes, absolutely. And then also, these, the hex H9 is IL, um, RF enabled. So you can use the RFC XL remote to control okay. these wirelessly if you don't want to do ILS or DMX console. Sure, and I think we have one of those right here, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah, absolutely, right there. All right, so, so the RFC XL remote is an easy way to get four groups. Let's say you have left side of the room, right side of the room, upstage pipe and drape. These control anything that is RF enabled. So 
we have color bands, we have some other hex color options, we have all of our Freedom Family and all of our X-Series Intimidator moving head fixtures can be controlled from the RFC XL remote. All right, that's a really sweet thing, and the part I really like about that is that color wheel. Yep. You don't know, it's, it's really hard sometimes to, oh, this, these preset ones, exact thing. You can just really dial that in, do exactly yep. what you want. I like that part a lot. Um, and then we got one more down here on the floor. I don't know if you can see it over the thing, but but uh, what, what's that last fixture we got on the floor there? It's shining right in, me, uh, so right the, in my eyes. The small part on the floor is another hex color. This is the Slim Part H6 ILS. So you get okay. six hex colored okay. diodes, nice punchy wash in hex color so you also you again get the uv yep. and then you have DeFi usb on the back three pin in and out power in and power through via iec which is one thing that i, I something i really like about chauvet I, most all of your fixtures that i know of have most power in power out yes and i think that that's a really cool feature especially when you're trying to daisy chain across trussing yeah. anything like that being able to go in and out on the same fixture and not having to run individual iecs to each one yeah. is a really really cool thing that i really glad that they that they include on all their fixtures all right so what last thing up here what do we got down here so this is the freedom charge 8p with our new Freedom series that we launched back in 2022, the new Freedoms are smaller, punchier, better optics, so you don't have any color banding or dispersion before the colors mix. So if you have a red, a green, and an amber mixing from the fixture, it doesn't puke up the wall about three feet before the color finally looks nice. Yeah. Photographers love these. It comes with a 35 degree milk frost. It's magnetic. It comes with a nice little handle. It comes with a kickstand. You can set your battery runtime to three, five, eight, or 12 hours, depending on how long you need the battery to last. Yeah, absolutely. So let's say you have a 10 hour event. You really want to make sure you don't have one of your up lights along the tent drop out. And then whenever the photos come out, the first thing the bride and groom notice. Hey, how a come that light is a little dead spot? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I really like how compact these things are getting. I mean, like I said, I just put it in my hand right here, but here's the, here's the crazy thing. This, this is the smallest one that they have. Tell us about this T6 one. So the T6, you get six tri-color, three-watt LEDs. You still get the 35-degree milk frost magnetic on the front. It's about the size of a good coffee cup on Saturday morning. Really small, punchy. These don't come with white sleeves, no accessories. You can buy these a la carte fit 10 of them into a Pelican or a Gator style case yeah. and get, be on your way. Yeah, I, I really like that they also have this option here, just super small, tiny, compact. Like I yeah. said, just look how tiny that thing is sitting in my hand. Hey, we got a bunch more stuff along this wall and the other one we got to get to yet. Let's get to it. All right, Chandler, we're on the main table here. Let's start off with the brains of the operation. Let's start off with that ILS command center. All right, so the ILS command is the controller or leader for the ILS family of fixtures. You can control ILS from several different leaders, uh, several different controllers. The Gig Bar Move Plus ILS is the original. It's got the brains inside of it. You can use the remote and control ILS out of that, whether through DeFi or whether wired up three pin DMX. The other one is the Gig Bar Bridge. It's a new fixture we have where you can link sections of color bands and intimidator spots together, like a video wall ground, vertical, or horizontal up in a truss. That's got the brains in it as well. Then we have the Gig Bar Move ILS, similar to the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS, a little less power, a little less oomph, but it still has the D5 built in, still has the ILS brains built in. The ILS command is a standalone controller that you're able to use next to your, uh, next to your desk up whenever you're DJing, next to your audio console from front of house. The drummer can use it on stage. It's very versatile, very affordable. Comes in a nice padded case. It's built out of a nice metallic housing. It's not plastic, it's not cheap. It has a good weight to it. It's got D5 built in. It also has three pin DMX out. Now, that three pin DMX doesn't control DMX 512 protocol. It only shoots out ILS signal. Okay. So you're That's still a very, gonna very use. important thing to yeah. think about, yeah. Yeah, we, we get that a lot. ILS is basically taking Master Slave that we've all known and we've all used to a whole nother level. Master Slave is when you take one fixture and you chain 40 of the same fixture up and they all do the same thing or they chase or they do yeah. elementary uh, effects, right? Sure. Stuff we all had to start with. Absolutely. What ILS is, is it takes Master Slave to a new level to where you have not only a fixture you can control, but 40 different styles and types. So let's say you don't want a gig bar with all the eight different lights that are on it. You don't want, you know, a gig bar two that's got derbies. You want color bands, color strips, movers, lasers, 
cars, four bars, you want slim banks, you want a particular style and type of fixture, and you want it to be simple and easy, find the style that fits your band, your event schedule, your professional vibe that you want, buy those, use the ILS command, and then when it's time to upgrade or move to a better controller, go to DMX. Use Show Express, Sound Switch, uh, a Wolf Mix, whatever you're gonna use, use it. Yeah. And everything is ready to go right from the get-go. Yeah, and I think that's a really good thing to remember about all these different fixtures is they have the ILS built in, they have D5 built in, which are Chauvet exclusive things, but they still have regular 512 DMX. You yeah. can still run them just like any other fixture. So don't, the don't let the fact that it has ILS built in shy you away from buying things like that to work with your existing setup. You already have yeah. sound switch, but hey, you really like that slim bank with the shutters and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Still go ahead and get it because it'll still work. And then as people move into ILS, a lot of people have our color bands, slim pars. We've all invested in it. The hurdle that we have is that there's a different nomenclature. There's ILS at the end. If you have a slim par H6 and a slim par H6 ILS, they're the same fixture, one just has ILS in it. If you have a color band T3BT, and then you buy the color band T3BT ILS, same exact fixture, one just has ILS built into it. Same optics, same color, same housing, yeah. just an added control feature yeah. inside of the fixture. It's just an extra feature built right in that you yes. have available for you. Okay, so that's awesome that we have the ILS command. So what are the things do we have here? We'll get to these in just a second. But what's this first one here, th this, this big one? So what you see all around the floor below us, up here shining on the, the DJ banner, this is the new Color Strip PIX ILS. This is taking the old Color Strip that we've always had that looks like a tray of Skittles that we all invested in at the very beginning. Absolutely. And it's putting it into a color band size and it's using it as an eye candy fixture that you can put into everything else. So, what the color strip is doing is it's allowing a really affordable entry level eye candy fixture in the Chave DJ family. And again, it's ILS. Awesome. And then we have this one right over here. What, what do we got here? That's the Intim Spot 60 ILS. Okay. We have two fixtures in that range in the ILS family the Intim Spot 60 and the Intim Free Spot 60, which is a battery operated D5 built in ILS Freedom Family mover. And we have it, we'll show you it here in a little bit. Just a second, yep, right So, right. the Intense Spot 60, it's just a little bit more punch, a little bit more oomph. You can open it up, change the gobos out if you want a different set. You don't want the standard Club DJ gobos, you want hearts, wedding, you know, we have a pack you can buy from Chave that's geared more toward wedding and event DJs, yep. where you can throw hearts on the floor, flowers, rosary, all the good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, and then this, this last one here, what do are, what are we got here? What are that's these? That's the Easy Pin Zoom Pack. This is going to be a magnet base, also clampable with a zoom, battery powered uh, pin oh, spot. These are aluminum, of course. Yep, they are aluminum. So with these, you've got 10 to 15 degrees that you can control right from the bezel. You get a nice homogenous look, it doesn't look cheap. You can do 180 degrees either direction. Clamp on the bottom if you want to do C-clamp to yep. trussing. Mm -hmm. The magnet's nice and strong battery indicators on the side. We don't have any control for this. So you don't have to worry about, you know, DeFi, DMX. This is just a standalone fixture. Throw it in the case, get it out, set it up, turn yep. it on, good to go. And again, with the magnet and everything built in and or you got M10 threading on the bottom, you'd be able to put it up on a, on a drop ceiling. Again, shine right down, middle of the table, fixtures, cake table, head table, whatever. It's a really, really cool thing. You should pick up a side of those. All right. now. We have something new that's sitting right here. Um, it's in a little uh, Chauvet DJ satchel, carry case, however you want to say it. What do we got here? So these are the Codot ILS. Brand new being unveiled today. Being unveiled today, and the only people the selling them in person are here in the booth. NLFX. Talk to NLFX. If you're not here in the booth, Talk to them pretty quick. Yep. We have Get a lot of inventory me. coming in. So absolutely, we got lots of these coming in. So, tell us a little bit about the Codot. What, what was the, what was the inspiration behind these? So the Codot and the inspiration behind these is to have something small. It's got wireless built in. Has a magnet on the bottom. Has a, a different lensing. The packaging, the profile of the fixture is very small. You can fit 12 of these in a backpack. You can fit 100 of them in a Pelican case. What you're getting is you're getting a package of four with a Fresnel lens and with the hard bezel lens where you get a nice, good throw. Now, you just unscrew it, yep. put, the, put the Fresnel lens on, 
get a nice, better, a, a more even focus, a better color wash. That's this one he's talking about for the Fresnel lens, right there. Yep. So on the back, easy menu, nice bright display, ILS built in, DeFi transmitting and receiving built in. Which is a really, really big feature in something this small. The fact that they were able to get the ILS and the DeFi stuff built in with this, yep. again, you don't have to put anything else with this. It'll work right out the box. Yep. We got a couple of them set over here that you'll see here in a minute that are connected to everything we got going on here. Yep. Um, I tell you what, the thing that he didn't say that I personally really love, we got USB-C in, USB-C out. You can daisy chain these, and that way you don't have to have those individual runs yeah. of USB cables, all that sort of thing. So as long or as short as you want to get them, you can just, whatever cables you need, right there, and you can get those cables wherever you want. They come with some, they come with long and short, so you have the ones that they have. But if you're just like, you know what, I need these to go you know, five feet farther than they want them, yeah. right there, just build, buy, buy yourself a cable on uh, wherever you want, yeah. and you can get them wherever you need them, and again, magnetic they'll stick anywhere and the fact that you're able to bit ILS and D5 built into this fantastic yeah. great job by them we've been, and, uh, we've been getting a lot of feedback on being able to put D5 and ILS into fixtures as a standard and the co.ILS ILS family is gonna be the start of that being able to put it into as much as we can in the more affordable lines yeah I am extremely proud to say that we worked with Chauvet and with some other people too it wasn't just us but we were able to be able to get this to go on out they took a lot of our suggestions very serious and we appreciate that. So that's what's great about working with awesome partners like Chauvet. So, all right, we got one more bank of stuff to look at. Let's take a look. All right, and finally, we got our last section of stuff here that we're gonna cover in the booth. So let's let's start out here in the corner. What do we got going on over here? So as mentioned previously, the yep. ILS family, the, the grandfather to it all is the Gig Bar Move. Industry standard, we sell a lot of them. They're everyone's entry level into this industry. Just a standard household name for yep. getting into the DJ line. Absolutely. What we have here is the Gig Bar Move Plus ILS. What you get, you get eight lights on one unit. So you get two movers, two pars, a blinder, double fat beam laser, and two Kenta. And then on the side over here, Kyle threw one of those pin spots we looked at earlier. Just to show, just show how, how versatile they are. Throw it on the side. Behind it, we have the hard case Gig Bar Move family traveling case this is a pelican uh, not pelican style this is a fender style row case that you can throw you can mess it around you can put your tripod inside yeah. it fits DeFi usbs the gig bar the tripod the foot pedal if that's what you want to use for control yep. it fits everything inside fits into the back of a truck or a van or a small suv really well just a nice rugged case yep. because the case that we provide with this get a lot of feedback after a couple years uh, or, or sooner, depending on how hard yep. you're using it, it breaks down. Yep. The hard case is a solution for that. Yeah, and, and the thing that I do really like about uh, the, the gig bar stuff is that, especially like you said, if you're really getting into it for the first time, it comes with everything that you need. Yeah. It comes with the stand, it comes with the case. It comes, it's kind of a, hey, this is your lighting setup. Yeah. Make it work how you need it to. Yeah. So that's something that I really like about it. So, and then uh, down below that we have the, the Mac standard. Daddy. Yeah. The, the Mac Daddy, this is my, I mean, I love all the different stuff that they have. I gotta say, this is probably my favorite fixture on the market today. Yeah. Use it all the time. I use it in all my weddings. We got the Wash FX Hex. Still the granddaddy. We got them here. Just yeah. come and take a look. If you don't know about those yet, where you been? You've been living out on a rock, okay? <laughs> all right. Then over here, we got our stuff for sale. Yeah. Uh, we got Codots here for sale. Take them home with you today. We got some of the ILS commands. We got those ready to go, set up, ready to go. Again, we got some of the zoom packs yep. uh, for the pin spots, we got those. We got the D5 XLR transmitter. So if you wanted stuff to work with your command and you don't currently have I, um, ILS or D5 enabled ones, right here, put that in, you can use that command with them. It'll send all those signals to your things like you need. <coughs> uh, and those also work with standard DMX fixtures. Yeah. If you don't even have Chave fixtures, Whatever fixtures you have, if you need a, an easy uh, monodirectional wireless DMX option, you throw this, the output, you put it into your DMX splitter, your Wolf Mix, your sound switch, whatever yep. you're using. Um, and then you throw the receivers into the fixture, you match the channels, good to go. Yeah, absolutely. They're fantastic, fantastic value. Um, and then this we were talking about before, the new DeFi USB 2s. Again, no yep. dip switches, better housing, better thing, all that sort of stuff. Those are the differences. Perfect. The differences are, you get a nice, good plastic housing. You get indicators like we have on the DeFi XLR family. 
you get a nice window so you can see the indicator up near the fixture instead of having a bright flashing red unit. No more dip switches, no more metal cap that can cause interference. It's a little bit smaller of a, of a unit. Still comes in four packs. So check out the DeFi USB 2. Right there, like you said, four packs. And then of course, it wouldn't be NLFX if we didn't come out here. We got some of our, uh, we got our moats, we got some cable ties, we got our world famous gaff tape. As you can see, we got some of the code dots lighting up our table right over here. So come by, check them out. You can see them in, uh, it, at work and everything going on right now. Uh, and again, we got all sorts of different fixtures that you guys can pick up here, take home with you. And then last but not least, we have this, what we were talking about over there, we got that Freedom 60 right up here so you can take a look at that battery powered all that take a look I'll, I'll, I'll frame you up here Chandler you can take a look at them okay yeah go ahead and talk about it so the free spot 60 is the most powerful fixture we have in the ILS family along with the intimidator spot 60 that we saw on the other side of the booth but it's battery powered and with that battery powered comes some other features technically it's a freedom family fixture it's a intimidator family fixture and it's an ILS family fixture. It is our most versatile fixture we have in the Chave DJ family. So what you have is you get a big battery base, you can charge it up, and just like the Freedom family of the PARS, you're able to set your hours and it's gonna slow the fixture down and it's gonna dim it down a little bit to make it last that period of time. So, Intimidator Free Spot 60 ILS. That's really awesome. Chandler, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yep. I'm excited to work for you for the next few days here out in Las Vegas. <laughs> yep. Again, stop by booth 4117 NLFX here with Chauvet DJ. Hope to see you guys out here. Take care. Peace.